Hi everyone, it's Jez Corden here from Windows Central and today we're having a quick tour of the new Xbox Beta app for Windows 10 which is available as part of the May 2019 update for Xbox Game Pass for PC. Okay, so as I mentioned, this app was launched alongside Xbox Game Pass for PC at E3 2019, which uh, gives you access to over 100 PC games for a monthly fee of around $5 uh, during the beta period, of course. It will, it will go up to $10 a month, I think. Uh, the tiers are a bit confusing, and uh, I'll drop a link in the description if you're interested in what that subscription represents. But beyond Xbox Game Pass itself, the new Xbox app for Windows 10 is also a basic PC gaming store. It's also your social tab for xbox live friends and stuff like that and it also lets you install and manage your game library from game stored uh, installed from the microsoft store uh, i don't need to go over the history of the microsoft store for uh, pc gaming it's uh it's been really bad but thankfully Thankfully, after many years of waiting, Microsoft has finally taken the concerns of PC gamers seriously and built this whole new app, which you can see here. As I mentioned, it's currently available in beta for the May 2019 update. It's going to be rolling out more broadly later in the year, and I suppose when they add more features to it, because it is a bit bare bones at the moment. But like, as you can see, once you uh, once you open the app and you sign in through here, which has a nice, you know, Microsoft Fluent Design System design, you've got the acrylic sort of style up at the top here. It looks very, very nice indeed. And uh, the first page you come to is the Game Pass page, which shows you everything that is available as part of your Xbox Game Pass subscription. And honestly, the library is pretty great. For $5 a month, I mean, you're getting some seriously great games like Prey. You're even getting some new games like Void Bastards, which is pretty new there. And, you know, serious AAA games like Metro Exodus, which aren't even available on Steam because of uh, Epic Games' money hatting. And these these are only the, the recently added games. Like, if you scroll down to the bottom here we can have a look at the entire list which um you know is is pretty serious you know you've got football manager you've got vampire you've got classic games like uh, gears of war 4 and astroneer state of k2 which came out last year rise of the tomb raider you know there's, there's loads of really great games here and uh, I think it's a pretty high value proposition, you know, if you are someone looking to save money and that sort of thing, it can be very high value indeed. Now, the cool thing about this app is like, it's it's just looks a lot nicer than the Microsoft Store app for uh, PC gaming. Like if we go into, this is the store that as it exists at retail right now, it looks dated, cluttered. You know, it's it's hard to find anything. You've got like Gears Five sitting next to Toy Story and and Toy Party and <laughs> new and notable PC games. Toy Party. What even is this? Uh, you know what? I don't even I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know what that is. I mean, these games have a right to exist, sure, but you know, if you're trying to build like a serious PC store for you know proper PC gamers and stuff like that, this is far more you know, close to the mark, I would say. It doesn't have any of those sort of mobile touchscreen games in it whatsoever. It just sort of appeases the sort of, the idea of what core gaming is. And you've got the categories down here and you can uh, browse and all that sort of stuff. So when you actually drill down into a game, so for example, Blazing Chrome, which is a pretty awesome uh, Contra-like game which is pretty sweet and i need to go back to playing it it's pretty simple you just literally just click install you can even choose which disc to install to which was a big problem with the microsoft store previously it didn't handle different storage devices very well but now it does which is nice to see and also the information is laid out clearly and concisely with the new microsoft font you can even get mixer streams here which is a nice little touch and uh, also it gives you system requirements down here and that sort of thing. Um, if you look at a, a sort of larger game, like for example, Metro Exodus, you actually get this really cool social feature from the developers. That's uh, very similar to what you get on Steam. Uh, for example, Deep, Seal Deep Silver, which published Metro Exodus, they can they can discuss directly uh, with the game's fans about upcoming stuff and DLC and advertise the game and, you know, talk about updates and that sort of thing. Following fixes have now been deployed. Fixes with the freezing on the alt tab, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's just, just so much better than the Microsoft Store. Just better in every single way. You know, I'm really impressed with what they've done here. And, like, when you do install it, it comes up here on the sidebar, which looks similar to Blizzard's Battle.net 
if you've ever used that. And it's pretty easy to just, you know, right click, uh, launch the game or view the details and move it up and down the list. And uh, if you want, you can just uninstall it. And I'm going to install, uninstall it because I've been playing it on Xbox anyway. And uh, there, instantly uninstalled, which is a nice touch. Now, a lot of the games here are UWP, but there are some classic sort of Win32 style games. Football Manager, for example, that is a Win32 game through and through. Although it does have Xbox Live integration, which is nice for achievements and that sort of thing. If you're into Football Manager, you know, uh, you can get some Xbox Live achievements on the side, which is a nice touch. Now, beyond the Game Pass segment, there's also the regular store here, which um, which is where you buy games outright if you're not a Game Pass user. Uh, again, it's much nicer than the existing store. You, you've got, like, animated uh, panels, which show the game game's trailers and stuff like that, which looks really, really nice. And... Um, you know, you have all the information like this when it's on sale and there's no mobile games, none of the mobile games or anything like that. It's just pure core games, which is, you know, pretty much exactly what PC gamers have been asking Microsoft to do for about a million years, which is nice. So beyond the store now, we also have the social tab. This is a bit bare bones at the moment. Uh, there's no Xbox clubs integration and stuff like that. You can view people's profiles relatively easily. If you click view full profile, it sends you out to the web, which is a bit annoying. But, you know, it's early days yet and it's still in beta. And it's it does have this sort of quick menu here, which gives you like a quick glance, glanceable information as well as the ability to send messages and that sort of thing. Now, you can also right click now. That's That came in a recent update. There was no right click menu before, which was annoying, but it's there now, which is good. I'm going to show you how the messages work. Uh, just going to send Rand a quick message. Hi Rand, I'm testing the Xbox app for Windows 10 and sending you this nice message. Lol, lol, lol. Now, it's so much faster than the previous Xbox app when it came to messaging. Microsoft has completely rebuilt the uh, backend system to, you know, for speed and ease of use and that sort of thing. They have done a pretty good job of it. I have to say, and it's, it's a long way before they'll compete with the likes of Discord. As I say, there are no Xbox clubs, which are sort of similar to the Discord servers and that sort of thing, but they are supposedly coming in a future update. Okay, so beyond the Xbox social section, you can also quickly search for games here. You get notifications here for messages and that sort of thing. And at the top, you can also very quickly gain access to your account and also some general settings and that sort of thing. Again, it's pretty bare bones uh, right now. Um, you can change your gamer tag, you can view subscription, quickly manage and cancel it and that sort of thing. Change where your app's installed by default, which is nice. And uh, to set up this PC to run games even when you're offline, go to the Microsoft Store and available. Uh, offline permissions. Okay, so there's offline permissions as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And there's also some audio features for when using voice chats and that sort of thing. Now, one of the annoying things about the, the Microsoft Store is that finding the games you actually own is... They were all lumped together with the apps and they did improve it over time, but it was never that particularly great. But now you just click games I own and boom, they are all there available. All the games that you've purchased and all the games that are available to download on this PC should come up right away. Now, what I've noticed is that it doesn't actually have all the games I've purchased. Like, for example, Minecraft isn't there, which is which is weird, you know, considering I do own Minecraft on Windows 10, and that's, for some reason, not included here. And also, I've got two versions of Shadow of War, for some reason, and I can't hide them. I can't right click and hide them. I guess that's because they're part. They're all these are part of Xbox Game Pass, maybe. But I think is all of these. There's way more here than Xbox Game Pass too, which doesn't make any sense to me. So I think this library section's probably not complete because it doesn't seem to work properly. It's missing a lot of the games that I do own and that I've purchased that aren't part of Game Pass. And also, it's I don't know. It's just a bit. And it's, it's also missing a lot of the games that are in Game Pass, so I guess that's something they need to work on there. You can also quickly redeem codes for the Microsoft Store, which is, you know, just surfaces up the, the regular redeem code prompt from Windows 10. And also there's a quick link to the Feedback Hub and also the ability to quickly appear offline, like so. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it for the app so far. There's not a huge amount of features. Also, there's this this cool thing where you can like click a click a button and get like a random game to suggest that it's Zoo Tycoon. It's suggesting that I play there. Uh, I don't think so, but you know, there's a there's a lot of cool little features here, and the design's great and stuff like that. Hopefully, the uh, they'll be doing rapid development on this because, as I say, there are lots of missing features like achievement management sort of stuff and game clips and you know your social feed from xbox live and also xbox clubs is missing and all that sort of stuff but hopefully microsoft will bring that to the app sooner rather than later if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a like a comment and all that good stuff i've been jez corden from windows central you can follow me on twitter at jez corden j-z-c-o-r-d-e-n and that's pretty much a wrap thanks for joining me guys